Hello everyone, I'm Great Cloak, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 55 of Factorio with the Space Exploration Mart, where we are suffocating. We just came back here to a novice orbit to bring some science and to start making more uh, scaffolding so we can produce more science, basically. And start a whole new area with more uh, organized science production, basically. At least that's the hope. But all of this is going now, so that's good at least. What is it we're short on now? Military. Didn't we bring some of that at some point? We did this time. Okay, good. Let's get that in there. And I guess maybe the slow inserters are just too slow, actually. So let's upgrade those. Then we shouldn't see red science labs anymore, and we don't. Good. So we want to get this to work, but it's going to take a while. We also brought some petroleum, and maybe that's already in here. Yeah, it is. So now we should get petroleum over here, and we are. So now we should be able to produce chemical gel. Except we're not getting enough petroleum. We are, okay. It's just very slow, and that's okay. I didn't really intend for it to be too, too fast. But this one time, we will just help it along a bit. Good, we're producing stuff. And we did our science. I feel like there was stuff we wanted to get done now. We want this though, right? Because that helps our personal laser defenses. We also want this. Can't do that. We are trying to work our way towards the iron cannon. And that's what we're already doing. Okay. We want something like this at some point. Do we want beacons? What sort of coverage do these give? It's just within three tiles. Okay. But we can't do any overlapping beacons, but they have eight module slots instead. Okay. That's probably useful at some point. But it doesn't feel too, too useful right now. Just wondering if we can get normal inserters to have more capacity, but we have to get all the way down here first. Okay. We want this. And if we have done everything else we want, maybe this is just the thing that we are going to spend all of our resources on. Is this not where we're supposed to request green circuits? I think it is. And that's why some of these are not working. Stop it. Hmm. 
red circuits are needed as well. I guess we didn't bring any of those. Actually, we have 8,000 somewhere. Did we just not request them? Again? Nope. Good. What is going on here? We need electric motors, and we haven't gotten any of those, I guess. Nope. Okay. Now that we have delivered a bunch of low density structure here. Maybe we should just leave these for a while and go back to Norvis. Or work towards the next science. Which one do we want? Which one do we need? We need energy science for this. Loads of stuff to do before that, I guess. But we can get there with the current technology. What does this stuff unlock? Different unknown stuff, I guess. So not something we're going to do right now. We are just going to work towards the ion cannon then. Which requires this science. Which means we don't want that. We want this. And hyper cooling. And laser facilities. And electromagnetic facility. And radiation facility. But we can't have all of that. Okay. So it all needs time to research. How about we just test out some delivery cannon stuff? See if we feel like that's more efficient than rockets to deliver stuff up here. So this is just a chest. I guess we do have to go back to Novice to test it. There's no way to give this a name or anything. How is it? We can do circuit networks across planets and stuff, right? A uh, signal, maybe? Signal transmitter, signal receiver. So we can send a signal from here telling how much of a resource we need, potentially. Do we have big electric motors we do do we have batteries we do not so we'll have to come back here several times for that I guess to just test this stuff We have even have the delivery cannon. Yes, it's this one. It's right next to it. I don't know why I 
just discarded that. Okay. I think we're going back. This stuff will take a while to make anyway, and we don't really have anything to do here meanwhile. Still working on scrap. Unless it's just because we have more delivered all the time, but I don't care at the moment. We are going back. We just need our capsule. What is it we can do with this? We can put fuel in here. And then we can keep our inventory if we do that. Is there anything we want to bring back? We can just look in the network, I guess. But not really. There's some ore, but that doesn't take up a lot of space. The barrels we are going to dismantle into steel, so... That's not too useful either. Do we have any of these? Nope. Well, we are just going back then without anything. With an emergency burn. Go. Did we produce cannon stuff here? Yes, we did. Awesome. Is this just a small version of our meteor defense? <laughs> yes, it is. But I guess that makes some sort of sense, since they're both cannons. Shooting stuff. can apparently make space elevators at some point. Do we make the delivery capsule stuff? Where even are those? It's probably in here. With other ammunition and stuff. Delivery. Nope, it's in there. So, near barrels and such, I don't think we did anything with this. Let's do it here. Oh, I guess we could try and request it, just to check the network. Nothing here. We require explosives. And we don't have any of those, as far as I remember. And that requires fluids, so we'll have to do that somewhere. That makes sense. Sulfur, water, coke. Hmm. I think we will make it somewhere not here, and just build it in. Maybe down here. Unless we can make sulfur easily there. We would need coal though. We should have sulfur over here. We don't have coal in the system already though. I could get it in here. But then we still need water, but that's here. If 
we just bring coal in here. I can bring explosives out here. That sounds okay. Or I start at least. Think how much sulfur do we need for each of these? Four seconds, we need one. So one of these can make two per second. So can supply enough for eight machines doing this. And that's not what I need. Something like that, so we can put this on the other side of the build. And then do this. How does that look? I still need water in, of course. You need to be faster. Are we low on power? Yes, we are. And this is currently our main power production and that's shutting down, so that makes sense. Probably because we're not getting a lot of coal here anymore. So it's about time we start thinking about nuclear power as well. But for now, let's just get some of this to the mall. Where is it we want all of this? We do have to bring it all the way out here, I think. What's this belt here for? Or green circuits, I guess. I don't think we're ever going to bring three more belts of green circuits. So I will take this belt. And use for this stuff. Come on in, please. Thank you. Good. I'm going to limit that a bit, but it shouldn't really make a difference. So now we should be able to make these. Yep. Okay, we will leave this here for now, because first we need more power. And I think we are just about ready for that.
don't we need a nut blood more than that? I think we do also these. I guess we're just going to use my usual blueprint, this one. Copy that, please, and put in here. So, we basically need 500 heat pipe, and I didn't get that at all. Need a little bit more than 100 of these, we almost have that. And we need a bunch of storage tanks and pipe and stuff. And I think we're just gonna find somewhere to do this. We don't have a way to get water out of nowhere. At least not yet. Not before I get tired of having to build this in the middle of the lakes. Which means we need no more landfill, by the way. Which we don't have any more of. Which is, of course, a problem. But maybe we made a little bit here. So we don't want to have to fill an entire lake, I guess. But we need enough space for this. With water at the top and bottom edge. Doing it over here would utilize a bit of that land, but isn't there a better way to do this? Nope. Just to be sure, we don't have water fill, right? No. Okay. And I think I am going to try to live without that this once. I will try to build this here. Or maybe here. But of course we have nowhere near enough for that. Should we just do a temporary, less complicated setup that isn't as efficient but produces power for us because we need it? Also, I'm sure we could do something that would work well without having to have water all around it. Mm. Okay, because we don't have enough landfill, I will build something a little bit more temporary. And I'll just do that over here, because I feel like it. So potentially we still need a lot of water. Do we have an off offshore pump somewhere? Please? Yes. Good. And we need power for that, but that's not something we currently have. But if we took some solar panels maybe and just made our own power just so I don't have to look at flashing lights and stuff like that. That would be awesome. Good.
Okay, that's just a little bit of power generation. It should just be enough to get this started up. So it's been a while since I set these up from the beginning. We get water in at the sides, we get steam out at the left side, we get heat from the right side. I think it warrants us going in here. Are we just going to make a build that can utilize one of the cores? these reactors and ignore it not being efficient because of no neighbor bonus just to keep it simple I think we are 40 megawatts it can produce steam turbine I think is the one we have The closer we are to this, the less heat we lose. Am I wrong? Actually, we shouldn't be able to lose any heat. It's just going to get lower the further away we get. As far as I understand. So there shouldn't be a reason to do something like this, right? And yes, I'm doing it anyway, for now at least. But no, that doesn't seem very good. How much can these consume? 10 megawatts. So we only need four of these for one of these without neighbor bonus. <coughs> good to know. I think this just makes more sense then. Can't help thinking about efficiency, and if we just did this, they get how much neighbor, bo neighbor bonus here? Hey, can we get some power up, please? And some fuel, please. Two of those, please. Hundred percent, yes. Yeah, so we would have to double this or something like that. Of course, we need to bring water in to both ends then. Forty, eighty. 160, we need 16 of these for that, and that is what we have, yes. Storage tanks. Don't really need this power actually. So we can produce a lot of steam and put in tanks if we get some water in. How much water are we consuming? 103 per second by 16, that's more than 1600, but 800 in each side should be fine with one offshore pump. I didn't really intend for this to be built 
in this orientation where we would build more of them going down like this, but we'll see. Now for actually generating power. I take these. They can consume 60 per second. And these output 103. Maybe we should actually do this in hell mode. Wouldn't that help us? Maybe not with the power, but with fluid consumption and such. No. Calculator though. 103 fluids per second by 16 machines. Or oh, heat exchangers. We get 1600 divided by, was it 60? 28, 28 of these. It's only 24. And if we want to stack them, we would bring more water out here, potentially. But that could work with this as well. That's 28. And of course pipe here. And those pipes should be fine, I think. We have all the steam in here. Only need to bring it to here. We can even separate those. There shouldn't be a throughput problem with that, as far as I can tell. So I think we're good with this. Of course we need to be able to put stuff in here. And output the used fuel cells. But we have plenty of space for that. Do we want to do the whole count how much steam we have and if we have too much then don't put anything in maybe we do in case we end up using this more than i think All of that is covered, good. And we can connect that to there, to there, to there, and to there, and to there. So this can read all of our steam. Is there a reason to do it in a combinator? Couldn't we just connect? Uh, the inserters but then we only want i think those are limited because we only want to input when this is outputting and that's why uh, also we need i guess just that input for that output for that input for this output for that Sounds good. Eh, uh, no. Why is that the request for this stuff? I don't know. Oh, maybe I had that in the paste buffer from earlier and we didn't do anything here. Ooh. Hmm. 
Now, how many calculation mistakes have we been doing here? Because this seems a lot simpler than I would expect it to. But maybe that's just because I'm not too worried about the productivity or efficiency of it. If we just consider having two spaces between setups like this, this should also be fine. Something like that? Sure. Now we probably don't have enough steam storage for the limit to actually make sense, but we can expand on that if we want to or feel like it. Though it would be easier to do right now. Can we fit all of this in? Doesn't really matter if it gets wider. So, so far we're still okay. As long as we can get in here, and we can. And we can then get out again. We have 24 tanks. Each of them has a capacity of 25,000. That should be around... What? Twenty four by ten would be two hundred and forty thousand by two and a half four eighty five hundred six hundred thousand steam. These can output a hundred per second by sixteen, so sixteen hundred per second. And a fuel will last for how long? 40 megawatts. 8,000 megawatts. Or megajoule. <laughs> 200 seconds. So 200 by 1600 is what? 1.6 million... 3.2 million. Is that true? Is my math off? It sounds like a lot. 1600 per second we can output by 200. That's only 320,000. I guess I just added a zero to that. And these could have 600,000, right? So we should be good with this amount of storage. If we can fit everything else we need in here. Good. Can these reach from trend? Yes, they can. Plenty of room, even. But we just connect all of this. We probably should. And 
maybe connect them at the ends as well. Or through this power pole, just because it fits nicely. Good. Then let's start with if we are allowed to input. This this should output something. Read hand contents to a pulse. Yes. This will read that signal. And if it has a used up uranium fuel cell, if it's more than zero, it's allowed to work. I would like to limit this to only work if we have anything in here, but it doesn't seem like it can do both. Both be enabled. Oh, it can. Never mind. Well, it's above zero should do it. So we are allowed to output if we have anything to input. We are allowed to input when we output. And we should just rotate one thing in. This shouldn't really be connected to this though. It should be connected to this. But first of all, let's just copy those settings. And let's connect across instead of to that. Is there a connection here? Because I can't see it. There isn't. Okay. So output to that. But then we also want this to be connected to if we have too little steam. So that's why we usually combine signals. Can we do AND here? Is that a different combinator? You should be able to do AND gates, right? I'm probably just stupid. I haven't played with this for too long, it seems. Actually, I think it's just this. Yes, okay. If... Some signal... Steam. And we can't do a count on that and do an end gate. So we need to do one thing up here. One thing down here. And this will do a steam, I guess. If steam. It can't do that though. This have to count steam. Get that away for now. If steam is below a hundred thousand, then we are allowed to work. Output is for steam. Doesn't matter the count. This can't count from that chest because it needs another signal. So we have to count that here. And then we are going to have to do the same thing over here. And then we need 
space for the end gate somehow. But no, this should only be needed once. So if we both input and output this to the same thing, we should output this S signal. And this can read from that. So this is okay to do. Actually, can you copy paste from these? Nope. If we have fuel. from this chest. We are not allowed to cross these streams here. So first of all, let's get everything that isn't needed removed. That is okay. We can feed this signal into there though because this will be connected to this through the AND gates. At least not with red wires, I think. Will this have to go like that for a different channel? We will do that side afterwards. I'm going to focus down here first. So this stuff is red, but we need power. Hmm. We do that. We have space for power here. If we just did this all around, we would actually be able to power everything from in here and not need these. But we still need the space, but I think I like this. I'm getting distracted, sorry about that. But sometimes this feels important. Good. And can we just make sure we have power, please? I hate lights flashing. So now if we put fuel in here, it won't work. But it will work if I want one in there. And I want two of these here. Actually, just one. It is not working. Because we... Oh, wait. Mm. Can this be an AND gate? No. We need two signals in, and we need the combination of those two signals. That's the problem here. Let's just get rid of that. So we do need more space, I think. Because they need their own AND gates. We need an AND gate on both sides because the chest uh, capacity or contents need to be a part of that signal. And we can't have something over here work because we have fuel here. It needs to read its own. We don't really have to count. We can just do this and 
the steam signal. I think. Steam in there. Steam signal. This signal in there. It gets both, it should output then. You're connected to that. We don't want to cross the stream, so we're using green. Is this not... Oh, we need to... What signal do we want to use for this? Just a green signal. Output green. Outputting green. Oh, wait. We don't need... Yes, we do need to read hand contents. But... Again, this chest is not connected to this. This should read contents from this chest. Oh boy. But if we just ignore that for a second, why is this not working? You get a green signal. Is it because we're both trying to read and enable disable? Waiting. Wait. Didn't we put one of these in here? I guess not. But again, we need to not connect that to there. The signal of this, as it is right now, needs to go to this. If green signal there's no green signal here if we put one of these in there we have a green signal you that have a green signal so if we put one of these in there it works. We are fueled. If we put more of these in here, it's not inputting. If this works, we should be able to just do this, right? Except we didn't do everything up here. as long as we don't have any wires that shouldn't be there. But I don't think we do. This got inserted again when it was empty. Good. Are we getting some steam soon? We are at... Oh, we need water. Of course we do. Water, please. Uh, 
is going on. Oh, wait. First of all, that needs to be there. Doesn't it say... I thought it said we were at 500 degrees, but I guess we weren't. No, I looked at the bottom. Generate steam at 500 degrees Celsius. Minimum temperature is 500 degrees and we're only at 300. Okay. But we pasted everything we should, right? So now, if we put some stuff in there, put one of these in there. We're not getting a green signal here. This should output a signal. Why isn't it? We have both the uranium and the steam signal. What? No signal. I do not compute. Disabled by controlled behavior because we're not getting green signal. Green signal in this doesn't matter. Also, we can get rid of the red wire here. This is not allowed to be connected with a red wire, first of all. Because then they reach each other's content. Now that reads 6 as we have. This reads 4. This is not outputting anything either. Is it only outputting when we have 1 in there? Apparently yes. 2 does not work. What? Can't do anything with numbers. So do we really need a combinator just to count this? That seems stupid. Count it and output a signal without any value, I mean. Could maybe just only request one here ever. But I'm not sure if the robots will comply with that. There. Give me a provider just. As they have largest storage sizes than that. Yeah, they don't care. Hmm. I don't understand. This has to be exactly one. We live without one of these power poles somehow. Not really, unless we go back out here, because then we can have a combinator in here. What? Oh, because I did that.
and live without these, even though that would have been nicer. There's no reason for this to be connected there at the moment, other than that's where we get our signal from, so yes it is. I guess this is what we actually want to move, because that doesn't really belong on any side. So if we just do that again. We can move this in here. After this count, uranium. If uranium is above zero, output uranium one. Then this gets Uranium-5 still, because it reads that. That gets one. Doesn't get a green signal. Oh, it doesn't output a green signal. Because of what? Because it doesn't get the steam signal. Because this is not powered. Because it's too far away from any power poles. And we can't get close. We should have just stayed or kept our power poles out here, I think. But that's just how it is. So steam buff no below 100,000 output steam signal just keep it at one I guess and then that got its green signal oh it's outputting its green signal sorry so we got stuff in there If there's nothing left here, is this allowed to output? Thank you, robot. That's exactly what I wanted. Well, I guess we can test that over here. Except that we haven't done our modifications over here yet. Wait. Oh, it works because there's only one in there. Now it shouldn't work. No green signal. Yeah. So now we can take this. Rotate up there. And now we get a green signal. And when we run out, there's no green signal, so we're not allowed to output. Even when these are out. Good. That's just an extra safeguard, apart from anything I've had before, I think. Because if we ran out of fuel, these would just dry themselves out. And then you had to go and re-put stuff in them manually. But that shouldn't be the case here, I think. This should just work and be somewhat staggable. We do need two spaces between them still, unless we move our water further out. The water could just be out here. So this could just be at the end. That can't fit there. But it would be okay here.
think I will just move this, even though we have a working setup. Just put it here instead. And we'll figure out what to do with the water. That can't fit in there unless we do that. And that now sends its signal. So if we got something in there, we still work, right? No. I... This does not get the S signal, even though it's being output there. Oh, these are not connected anymore. I removed a power pole. Like a dingus. And this was just connected on this side, yes. And we still need to figure out what to do with the water, though. So actually, this is a bad idea. We need a somewhat clear entry here. So we're just going to be one tile wider. That's okay. No green signal, because we have plenty of steam now. Wait, what? Input signals, 140,000. Do we have something that puts the signal back into the system? No, wait, that's times four. This is only one fourth of it. Can't see the full system, system unless we connect these. And across, I guess. Okay, so we do have 140,000 in the system, and we won't allow anything before we get below that again, because this will produce a lot. When I did the math for how much steam storage we would need, didn't I only calculate one fuel? But we're gonna have two fuel just put in. Calculator. Yes, I think. No, this is the full thing running for 200 seconds, and that doesn't matter if it's one or two fuel. We need two fuel to gather enough heat for all 16 uh, heat exchangers to work anyway. So it is for the full 16 heat, heat exchangers. Yes, I think it's fine. I just want to see this not output either when we, when it's done. And then I think we will call this build done. This is not needed anymore. Those should not be needed anymore. We're full, we're full. I need something to consume power. How do we... No, actually this will just burn anyway. It just seems slower than usual. Otherwise there was no reason to do all of the smart stuff we have been doing. Yeah, no outputting. But then... 140,000. If we remove more than 40,000...
and we have fuel available. This is getting... Oh, I've not removed a wire there. Well, they're allowed to input. This still sends a green signal. This does not because there's no fuel. Now it does, until they get full of steam at least. Oh, we don't have any more water. My bad. Did I not copy paste these, this at some point? Yes, I did. This can't output. I've made mistakes. This can't output. This can't output. This can't. But now this can't get any steam. So that's the problem with doing that. Okay, we need to think more about this. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.